This is the motor inverter board status indicator lights code chart, provided by General Electric in the wiring schematic. These are the procedures to follow according to GE. The information in this video is provided as is. Any questions contact GE for more information. If the light flash on, for one second, and turns off, for one second, continually like this. It indicates normal or standby mode. If the light flash on, for half a second, and turns off, for half a second, continually like this. It indicates normal running mode. If the light flash on, one time, and stays off for a long time, Replace the motor. If the light flashes on, two times, and turns off, for six seconds. It indicates a slipping belt. Check the belt. If the light flashes on, three times, and turns off, for six seconds. It indicates corrupted software. Replace the motor. If the light flashes on, four times, and turns off, for six seconds. It indicates that the mode shift circuit failed. Check the mode shifter coil. If the light flashes on, five times, and turns off, for 6 seconds. Not implemented. Replace the motor. If the light flashes on, 6 times, and turns off, for 6 seconds. Lock door. Make sure the system is free. If the light flashes on, 7 times, and turns off, for 6 seconds. Door switch did not open. Check the door switch. If the light flashes on, 8 times, and turns off, for 6 seconds. Motor overheating. Make sure system is free. If the light flashes on, 9 times, and turns off, for 6 seconds. Brake resistor open. Replace the motor. If the light flashes on 10 times and turns off for 6 seconds. Communication error. Check the control on the backsplash. On flash errors 2, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 10. If no system failures are found, replace the motor. To reset the motor. Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Keep it disconnected for at least a minute. Reconnect the washer to the wall outlet. 
You have 30 seconds after the washer was plugged into the wall outlet to lift and close the door 6 times in 12 seconds. Now you could try the washer to see how it works now. The motor is very expensive to replace and sometimes you will need to replace the timer control too. These machines won't last like the older GE washers used to last without having to replace costly parts. So think before deciding to invest that much time and money trying to fix this type of washer when it needs to have the motor and timer control replaced. This is just my opinion. You do what you need to do. Click on these links to visit my website and to subscribe to my channel.